Today I will be doing a brake fluid flush on this Honda 2017 EXT and here's the master cylinder and the reservoir for the brake and it says clearly use only dot 3 or dot 4 brake fluid. Now here's the gist. Brake 3, the only difference between brake 3, uh, dot 3 and dot 4 is the boiling point. Now if you don't raise your car you don't drive like a maniac you don't really get any benefit from dot four uh, I'm gonna stick to dot three and I'm gonna be using this one dot three Prestone max that the difference between the max and the not max it's be that the other one is for 15 50 thousand miles this one is for a hundred thousand miles I drive this car a lot like 20 to 22 thousand 25 thousand miles per year so by doing this I won't have to flush the brake fluid again in in four years or five years so i get a lot of benefit i got this one for ten dollars at uh, walmart.com to flush the brake fluid you're going to have to start on the farther wheel from the brake cylinder which is there so obviously this is the closest one the passenger front is the next one then you have the driver rear so we're going to start with the passenger rear wheel first i'm going to secure the car i'm going to put this block here and i'm going to jack the passenger rear and loosen the bolts first then jack it up and secure with a jack stand remove the wheel and then look for the bleeder here remove that cup and i like to break the torque Usually, because it could be that it's pretty tight with a 10 millimeter socket, socket like this. Break it, but don't open it too much. That's it. So you can use later a tool like this, a wrench like this, to fully open it like doing that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect um, this that I built on my own, like a two liter bottle with a clear line and you just connect it here push it and move that zip type in so it stays in place now you position it this way so you want the, this clear thing to go up so if there are any bubbles they stay up here and they don't go down into your line so this is how it looks let me just zoom out so next step would be to open this line a little bit and then go and push the pedal a few times so the dirty brake fluid comes out and it's going to go into the bottle now the most important thing here is don't let the master cylinder dry or, or run dry so the first thing i'm going to do is going to top it off top the, the master cylinder so when i'm pump i'm pumping clear of liquid and i keep checking on if the liquid is going too low or the fluid is going too low because don't let it don't let pump dry because you're pumping air into a line and you don't want to do that so before um opening the bleeder on that wheel i'm gonna top off the reservoir now this is very important with brake fluid don't spill brake fluid anywhere because it will remove the paint be very careful with the brake fluid so that's why i put that rag over there i'm gonna top it off to start the process that's it so and you can see how clear the liquid is it's believe it or not it's you can see the line it's super clear so we'll see how the dirty fluid is i'm opening the bleeder now and you can tell that some liquid is coming out not too much but it's tricky to put the wrench in here all right so you can see some fluid coming out let me move it closer you can see there 
Now I'm gonna ask my wife, my lovely assistant, to uh, pump the brake a few times. Nope, again. Cool, again. Okay, I'm gonna go and check how the master cylinder is doing first. Yeah, the master cylinder is still at the filter level. Again, again, again. I'm gonna check again. So I top it off again, and I'm gonna pump like five more times. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go and check again. Okay, I top it off, and this is the last time. So it's coming out pretty clear at this point. And I'm going to, that, one more time. I'm closing the bleeder while she's pumping. Not too much, just a little bit, and that's it. So this wheel is now it's done, which is, it takes the majority of the, the fluid because it's the, the farthest one, farther one from the, from the master cylinder. I'm gonna remove this now. There you go. Ensure you secure um, the bleeder, not too much torque, and then put back the rubber cup protection. I'll put the wheel back and you're all set. Move to the driver rear. Okay, driver rear is out. Remember, remove the rubber protection. I would break the torque. That's it. And also remember that, okay, I have to tighten it up. That kind of torque. And now connect the hose. And put the zip tie on it. And now continue the process of pumping the brake and running uh, dirty fluid until it comes clear. So I've just finished with the last wheel, which is the driver's front. And I topped off the reservoir like that and last step remember just close it because you don't want the humidity coming in remove this and i by the way i literally use all 32 32 ounces so here's the color of the fluid the 32 ounces fluid that i removed uh, not even close to the clear fluid that i put that i can see on the reservoir right now